Hello, I'm Mitchell, this is a mill, and today I'm going to show you the simple steps for maintaining your mill on a monthly basis. Maintenance tasks are crucial to ensure that your machine is running correctly and making good parts. Previously, I covered daily and weekly maintenance tasks, so if you haven't seen that yet, check it out in the description below. For now, let's get rolling with these monthly tasks. If you have an umbrella tool changer, begin by cleaning off any chips that have built up on the top of the tool changer. Remove all the tools from the carousel. Clean any chip buildup on the carousel plate and grease the extractor fingers using Mobile Grease XHP222. While doing so, look for wear and sharp edges on the extractor fingers. These are both indicators that they will need to be replaced and could also be a sign that the carousel plate is not perfectly aligned with the spindle. If you are having alignment issues, contact your local HFO service technician. While there, check that the tool doors of the tool changer slide easily and do not get stuck in the open position. If stuck, chips may be getting stuck between the sheet metal or the spring may be out of the track or broken and will either need to be fixed or replaced. To access the doors, remove the number plate and the sheet metal covering the stuck door. Lightly grease the V-rail guide rails, checking for wear on the wheels and rails. Make sure to clear out any chips on the rails that may interfere with the rollers as they roll along the track. Next, inspect the motor's mechanical sensors and proximity sensors. Check for any frayed or damaged wires and remove chip buildup around the proximity centers. Lastly, reinstall your tools and double check to make sure that the tools are held securely. For side mounted tool changers, make sure that there are no tools loaded and command a tool change in MDI by pressing either ATC forward or reverse. When the tool changer has hit the bottom of travel, press E stop to stop the arm where it's at. With the arm lowered and no tools loaded, check the straightness of the tool changer arm. Place a straight edge level on both ends of the arm to verify that it is straight and there are no bends or twists. Check the V-groove and finger for wear and make sure that tools are held securely in the double arm. If worn or the tool holder is loose, these components may need to be replaced. If everything looks good, lightly grease the V-groove plungers and slider cap using Mobile Grease XHP222. Clear off any chips on the way covers and check for damage to the sheet metal or wipers. Anywhere coolant could potentially leak into the machine and damage components. If the weight covers are good, spray a light coat of rust preventative and run the axes back and forth to apply the preventative evenly. Opening up the loop panel, check the spindle lubrication tank level. If the level has dropped below the recommendation, refill the tank using the correct oil for your machine. As with all the lubricants I use in this video, you can find out which ones your machine needs by going on HaasCNC.com and viewing the lubricants, grease, and sealants table, which is also linked in the description below. Now while you're at the back of the machine, turn the power off and make sure the red LED light on the vector drive is off. For newer machines, remove the air filter and knock off the heavy dust particles and use compressed air to clean it. For older vector drives, there is no filter to remove, so simply use a rag or duster when cleaning the vents. Next, check the cleanliness of the coolant tank by dredging the bottom of the tank. If there is excessive chip buildup, dredge the remainder of the tank until it is clean. Otherwise, you can leave the tank as is. For machines with ball screws and linear guides equipped with Zerk fittings, such as the tool room mill, use two full strokes of Mobile Grease XHP222 to lubricate these components. While we recommend doing this every month, this can be done more or less often depending on the usage of the machine. On machines with counterbalances, check the reading of the gauge and verify it against the recommended value for your machine. Do not touch the pressure tank and only check the gauge. Haas allows the pressure reading to be up to 50 psi or 3 bar higher than the recommended reading. 
However, if at any point the pressure drops below the recommended value or is more than over 50 PSI or three bar higher than the recommended value, stop operation of the machine and contact your local HFO service technician. And that's it. These maintenance tasks are crucial to maintain the machine performance you need to keep your shop running. If you liked this video, let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, you can check out our monthly maintenance checklist, which goes over everything that I covered here. For more service and maintenance related questions and content, visit hostingc.com service and I'll see you next time.